Well, yeah. maybe not being on the downhill bike is what kind of screwed him up. But we got top qualifier Luke Strobel. Again, not See, on Chase the downhill and bike. chasing him down. There. <laughs> <laughs> Luke testing out a new uh, new bike for Evil. Looks like this wow. at the last few end of cups instead of riding his downhill bike. Getting smooth. Yeah. Well, Luke is pretty much well yeah, known right. for being one of the smoothest riders on well, in the U.S., much less in the Northwest Cup. Yeah, and managing to do it on a bike that is harder to keep rolling smooth. I mean, it, it, it picks up speed really well, but to flow with it is kind of more of a challenge, wouldn't you say so? Two and a half seconds down at split number one, or 2.3, so definitely a little bit of a disadvantage on that shorter travel bike, but I think the larger wheels actually help him a little with carry some speed. of these. Uh, yeah, carry speed and then also a little bit of the rollover where he's not getting falling into quite as many holes and the rocks don't seem quite as big, so. Seems a little slower than Weston through there. Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely having to use the bike to its full potential is where the downhill bike really capable of a whole lot more than just that rock section is thrown at it. Sending these jumps, though. This will be the section that really, the bike will excel, but again, Luke, one of the flat pedal riders out there, so. Not maybe be able to put down quite as much power. Cross the line. Cross the line, 306. Oh. Wow. 303, sorry. Good enough. Is that, Fourth third. Is that the first one he has won then? I think this is the first upset. Wow, Weston Potter taking down his first Northwest Cup win. And Dimitri backing up his 